links. I'm going to give you my links here for future. I'm only going to give them once. I know no one's going to watch all these videos, but that's not my problem. I'm done with yours. Okay, here's a link. It's called Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, uh, Taylor Memorial Public Library. You can go there and get some links. Here's Pines, Department of Technical and Adult Education, State of Georgia. You can go there and get, that's Trenton, Georgia. I believe they got a really nice library there. You can go there and get your links. Here's about the updated one when I moved back there. Here's Lexington County Public Library. South Carolina, you can go there and get some. These are my library cards, by the way. Washington County Library. Uh, St. George, Utah, you can go there and get some. Okay, and here's another one. Stark County District Library, Canton, Ohio. And I've got two more that I haven't found yet. The Kennewick here, I have that one too, and there was, uh, there was one I had. That we had. Yeah, here's your links. This is almost 35 years of library cards, okay? See, I didn't get to spend too much time in school, so when I walked into a library for the first time and saw their books, I'm going, how can anybody find my book? <laughs> I started walking in libraries when I was going to write a book, and I went in there and said, how can anybody find my book? <laughs> and I was just like, oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> The brightest thing, because you know what? The day I came up with my story in February 2000, I woke up on the field, overlooking the field and the windsock and everything where the story came about. And God gave me my story, and I turned on Good Morning America, and guess who the hell was on there? Miss Harry Potter herself, introducing her new book called Harry Potter. She was a lonely little housewife. Who was divorced and she needed a, a way to make a living and she was writing little stories for her daughter and, and everybody seemed to like her little stories and that's how she got started. She didn't tell anybody at that particular time. She was a full-fledged fucking witch. She didn't tell anybody at that full-fledged time she was a high witch. She didn't tell anybody at the time. She, she had uh, about 20 PhDs lined up on mythology because she was a witch. And that book went through the thing. I couldn't believe how many people went crazy on that thing. It's, even before it came out, it said the children would just love it and it's going to be one of the best books. How'd they know that? They put a spell on that damn book. And you know how many people wanted to put that book in my hand because I was writing my book and my main character was Harry? I could not believe it. The butterflies are loose. The hang glider pilot turns because she flips this butterfly bunch of shit because, you know, she's a hang glider pilot. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> I say, and got her pie is going to turn into a, you know, no, she's on lunch, and this butterfly lands on her boot. And she's like, oh, get out. And she's pissed off because she can't fly because the wind's coming off. The, so she's like, oh, shut up. Get off my boot. You know, but she's never heard a butterfly in her life. But, you know, she's just pissed off for not flying. you got to be a pilot to understand that. And so she kicks it off the boot, and the butterfly goes up and lands on a tree and looks down. And she goes, you think you can fly? You think you can fly? Okay. So she puts her down here in the land of plenty, and she's a butterfly now, and she don't know how to use her wings. She's used to flying with something. You know, she's used to putting something on her back. She's not used to having them connected to her. And so she's, she don't know how to fly. It's, it's real funny. <laughs> and it's very, I'll make it, tears your heart out. But Harry Potter came into the situation, and I don't even know where Harry came in. I do not know why Harry, I hate that name. I hate that name. I don't even know why. Well, I have an inkling it's because this other book on a hang gliding about a stupid rabbit that goes out in the desert and finds a hang glider and does the more, more proper thing and it has a name on it. So he goes and finds it, returns it to its owner because that's the moral of the story, to be honest. And then he just, he discovers hang gliding and so he wants to go hang glide. And it was a stupid book. It was a little teeny tiny book. And it was like $40. And it, the moral was just like, don't steal, I guess. Because the rabbit never learned how to fly. I guess he crashed and died at the end, because we all do at the end, don't we? You know, with the commercials, and everybody goes, if you want to go kill yourself, go learn to skydive. <laughs> well, what about hang gliding? You can kill yourself there, too. Duh, come on, give us some credit. See, many of us die right in front of my face. Actually, I turned down a ride, because I didn't trust the situation. 
We were training a trike pilot to pull tandems. They wanted me to be the dummy weight, which means, you know, just get used to the weight. I'm just, weight? <laughs> I've been weight. I've been just weight many times. <laughs> get there and test that out, Melody. I've tested out boats. I've tested out planes. Okay. Hey, Bill Lear. <laughs> Little Bill here. And that's what my name was when I was a kid. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> I ain't lying, man. I don't have to lie. People were right here that my friends would know. I mean, but family, they'll say, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm, black sheep, mm hmm. I've been called everything. There's a, I've been called a free spirit, a black sheep, uh, uh, oh, just, oh, and all the other names, too. I got called rubbish, and that's why I'm, I'm making a series. You want to know about your water? I'm giving you an I'm giving you an hints on my my uh, stuff because I'm getting ready to put out a whole educational thing, nothing to do with science, because <laughs> I don't know anything. And you know why? I'll tell you why I don't either. There's a lot of secrets I don't see being spilled on the internet anymore, like the old days. Mm -hmm. They're all gone. Everybody went under. We're on our own. All you got left is me. Because I listen to them. Yeah, Zeta talk too. Yeah, okay, got that too. Bye.